six, a stinky, persistent problem. That's how the owners of one El Paso business are describing the issue that has forced them to temporarily shut their doors. We're talking about Aaron and George's film cafe in downtown. And that is where we find ABC 7's Rosemary Montañez live with the details. Rosemary. Stephanie Paul, the co-owner of this cafe, told me they first opened back in 2022. They've attracted both film and food lovers from across the city, but they've been having these sewage issues since last August. They just want answers so their cafe can reopen. Keeps coming, keeps coming. And then in the kitchen... Oh. It's hard not to notice the smell of sewer inside Aaron and George's film cafe. The co-owner Douglas Winter says it started last August. It literally is flooding every day and when you see inside and you got to hold your nose, you you'll see, you know, we, we couldn't continue. He says plumbers have repeatedly fished out magazines, mop heads, excessive wipes and other large items. They had no option but to close. It's already hard to do. This is not a, like a high traffic area. It's already hard to do business and we're me and my my wife and I we were doing very well for a very quiet street, right? People would walk and go really out of their way and people would come and say, oh, I came all the way from the east side for your Greek salad. He says the landlord has been supportive, not asking for rent the next few months. So that's that's not a disaster. So I'm not I'm not um, drowning in bills. Oh well, otherwise I wouldn't do this. So it's so you know but I'm not making any money. I saw some customers hoping it was open. They are thankful for the community's support. People are yelling, when are you opening again? You know, people are waiting for us to open again, but we can't, you could probably smell it now. And Douglas said they're hoping to reopen in March after getting some repairs done. It's important to note that I did reach out to El Paso Water. They said in part, quote, uh, excuse me, property owners are responsible for maintenance of wastewater lines on their property. We want to remind customers that toilets are not trash cans and quote. The city of El Paso also says an inspection crew found one building nearby had a code violation. They did not specify what that violation is, but a city spokesperson told us they still need to inspect the building where Aaron and George's film cafe is located. I'm reporting live in downtown Rosemary Montañez, ABC. Seven. All right, hopefully they open again in March like they are hoping that they can.